What is going on, ladies and gents? So in today's video, I'm gonna start showing tips uh, to help make better voice files with the XVA synth using a couple different programs. Uh, one of them I'm gonna use is Audacity, which is a way you can make uh, clip different files together. I'm not gonna make a full video of everything I do because I don't realize some of the stuff I do, but I am gonna show a trick to make certain files that might be difficult to make with the synth alone. A couple things I'm going to go over with the update since the 2.0 and up on the synth is uh, the dictionary. He added some stuff in here that you can, like, different pronunciations of words to get them to go read through inside uh, the synth. Uh, it's something you can scroll through to check out. There are quite a few different features. He's also upgrading the voices. Uh, as you can see, the line that's in the synth, I think your eye must adjust to the light or I could go blind, so be careful. Now, there's a reason I made that line. I've already generated the line. Uh, we'll play it right here. I think your eye must adjust to the light or I could go blind, so be careful. Now, the reason I generated that line is sometimes making a line in the synth uh, can be difficult or the spacing is wrong or the pitch can be wrong, which you can adjust. But to make it easier on certain lines, we're going to use Audacity today. So what I've done over time and what I'm doing to upgrade the voices for Gellis in Skyrim Shrouded Secret is I've taken a lot of words that I thought come out the way I wanted to and I've clipped them and saved them and I've made it so they're kind of soft speaking so I can come back in here and generate it back in if I want to with the amplify it. I lower the amplification of it. So with that line played out, well, we, we keep the sample of course, which I've already done all this, but I'm just going to show you how I've done this and we're going to go in and play the sample real quick. I think your eye must adjust to the light or I could go blind, so be careful. So the reason I did this, if you go back into the file here and like there's so many different ways, depending on how you put it in a sentence that the synth will say yes. So here's one. Yes. And then here. Yes. And that was using pitch and lengthening the E and the Y. Now on nine, I have four back to back that I can clip on if I need to, that I put together so you can hear them. Yes, 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 yes. So the way a word is pronounced can make the difference in the sentence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a quick adjustment to show you how to use a synth with Audacity and I'm not going into Audacity tutorial. There are many online. You can look them up if you've never used it before. It's a free program. Great to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, import. I'm going to use three different files for this out of the one we made and I adjusted pitch and everything. But this is just giving you an idea of future ways you can look forward to adding spacing. So we're going to import audio and I want to make a line that's going to sound like there's something on her mind but she hasn't said it. Does that make sense? So, I'm going to play this. I. So all that is is an I, right? Now we're going to import another one. I want just, there we go. And then if I, I'm gonna, not even going to trim these up because I'm going to do this as fast as I can so you can understand how it's working. Uh, to make a lot of spacing that you couldn't make in the synth itself. So these combined can be amazing. Control A, we'll highlight both and we'll play those. I just... And you see how there's a little long space. So uh, we're going to import one more. I want to make it like she wanted to say something before you left. Uh, but then decided not to. We'll move that for a little more space there. Now if I hit Control A in here, I can highlight all of these. I'm actually going to throw an effect in. I'm going to amplify and back up a little bit. Not that much, but I think I'll go up about five. That'll bring everything back up, and then we'll play the whole thing again. I just be careful. So in the end, I can export this back out. And one thing you want to be uh, pay attention to in here is always put your project rate at 44100. Uh, the reason is that's what the uh, creation kit will read it to create the lip file. 
when you put it in on a voice, which I am going to make a video in the future soon. I got work the next four or five days, but how to add custom voice to custom NPCs. And this is just a start. I'm going to do every a trick now and then on what I do anyway to trick to make better voice files. Can this take a long period of time to do? Of course it can. But if you want to make certain files that are hard to make in the synth and use that with this to make them, it can work out well. Another thing to keep an eye on is inside the synth, how I spelt I. I spelt it differently as I went through because it will be pronounced different. And as it's said in a sentence, it'll have different pitches and different tones. So let's export this out of here. When you export it, you always export it at 16-bit, okay? So we're going to put this, I'll put this at 00, zero test. Oh, I got my cap locks on. And then if you, when you get into here, when you export it out, if there's anything in here, remove it. Okay, here. Now we'll go back up to the test so you can listen to this file all put together. I, just be careful. Okay, and there you go. So once you have that in, so if you remember with Gellis, if you've used uh, Skyrim Shroud of Secret, when you first asked her as a follower, she would say, where are we off to? Or, okay, where are we going? And it was pretty plain. So I wanted to spruce that up when you first met her. So to show you what I've done with, with some of the stuff that's been added, which I've added 80 or 90 new files now that I've made with both the synth and Audacity, new voice files to overwrite the old ones. Uh, I'm going to show you what she sounds like now when you first meet her and ask her to follow you and the difference in the tone of the voice and how more realistic it sounds. So, uh, we want generic. It's going to be generic favor, I think. Yeah. Swing and a miss. There we go. And in the next one, when I do, uh, the video of showing you how to put custom voice to a custom NPC, I'll also show you how, it's very simple, in case you don't know, how I put uh, her into the vanilla following follower quest without actually altering the vanilla quest. So I put her under rough voice, so you'll see her voice file in here, here, and there's Gallus. So now I'm going to, if you double click this once you have the file and you can play what they say. So this is what she says when you first ask her to follow you. Well then, shall we go? Okay, guys. Now, I want to thank you for watching the video, and I also want to say one other thing. Uh, if you ever thought of supporting Enemy on Patreon, no, I don't have a Patreon, but Dana from XVA Synth does. The hardest working person in Skyrim modding, and this program has changed modding for us. There are so many mods being released that are voice now. It's amazing. We could create our own DLC if we wanted to. Talked to him this morning. He's making me a, another file for Trish. Absolutely hard worker great person so if you ever thought of supporting anyone on patreon please consider supporting xva synth i'm going to actually leave some links in the description for you to look at i hope you guys have a good day